Hi guys, it's Joseph R. And today I'll be uh, teaching you guys how to get the internet browser, internet web browser for your Switch and 100% in your control. So, f just to clarify first, I am currently in f firmware update 4.1.0 and Nintendo still hasn't released any official way to get to, to the web browser and use it for any browsing purposes. There is a web browser in the Switch, it's just that it's very limited and it's only ac accessible to the content Nintendo wants you to access. But right now I'm going to teach you how to change those settings and get 100% ac access to the internet web browser for any br browsing purposes. Like for example, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then like video purposes like YouTube and Twitch, stuff like that. So what you're going to want to do first is make sure you're connected to the internet. And then once you're connected to the internet, you're gonna go. You want. You're gonna want to go to system settings right here. And then you're gonna want to go to internet, and then you go internet settings. And then as it's searching for networks. And yeah, as it's searching for networks, just wait patiently because if sometimes you're disconnected, like right now, I'm waiting for a connection. It might mess up the process so be very patient and then you're gonna want to pick your Wi-Fi and then you're gonna want to go to change settings now you're gonna want to go to the um all the way down to DNS settings now first of all this will be put to automatic you're gonna want to change that to manual so go ahead pick manual and then it'll give you primary DNS and secondary DNS and both codes will have all zero now what you're going to want to do is go to primary DNS and you're going to go ahead and put the code on my switch right now. I'll give you guys a couple seconds to uh, take a look at it and put it on your switch. But yeah, this is the code you want to put on your primary DNS only. Now, once you're done with putting the code, just press OK. And then you're just going to press save and make, press OK. Now you're gonna what you want what you're gonna want to do is connect to this network. Now it says the console is connecting connected to the network device, but now what it's gonna say is the network device cannot connect to the internet, as it's gonna pop up very soon. And make sure this is the Wi-Fi that you, you're using the most. Or like, for example, your Wi-Fi at home. And make sure it's a really strong connection, too. Because if it's very faint, then like it might mess up the process, too. But yeah, as you see, it's still connecting. But yeah, just be very patient. Because if you rush through anything, then it might mess up the process. There, as you see, it says it can't connect to the network. Which is what you want to have right now. So if it doesn't connect to the internet, then that's good. That's what you want. Now it says registration is required to use this network. Don't worry about that. All you're going to do is press next or press A to go next. Now all you're going to do is wait and just watch as the web browser loads up. So now as the web browser is loading the page to Google, then that's when you have full access to the web browser now when you f say like if you turn off your console and then like you're wondering how do I get to the um web browser again all you're gonna do is just go to news and just go to find channels and then I'll load the browser again which I'll show you after the just showing you proof that this Google browser works and YouTube and stuff like that so yeah, as you see, the first time it wouldn't load the page, so I just click retry if it doesn't work the first time. And then it says redirecting to Google in one second. And then it says that could not display page, just click retry. As it does say that a couple of times, especially if it's your first time. It isn't my first time, but it still happens even though, even though if it isn't your first time. So now as you see, we have the search icon here and the Google search and stuff like that 
Google Plus, Search, Images, Google Maps, Play, YouTube, News, Gmail, and more. And the sign in and the settings right here in the top right. But as you see, this is Google and this is the search engine. And we can, just to show you proof, I'm just going to search up um, Nintendo because why not? And then as it loads up, and as, as it's searching for Nintendo. But yeah, this is basically like using Google on your phone or your computer. Because some people are kind of complaining why they don't have a web browser yet. Because on the 3DS and Wii U, they do have a web browser. And you can access to anything with your anything you want to browse. And with Nintendo limiting it, some people are kind of complaining, so they're wondering why. And now, you can actually get access to it. Just not, like, officially yet. But there is a way. So, as you see, here's the search results. Nintendo Switch. The search results. Nintendo U Nintendo Switch, Facebook, Twitter, Wikipedia. Official site for 3 yes, Switch. And Nintendo's official site. And then... I'll just show you um, YouTube on Nintendo's official page and as it loads up but yeah basically this this is just like kind of exploiting it with um, just the code I gave you earlier to your internet because if you if your internet settings is set to automatic it gives you exact location I believe that's what the primary DNS does. If not, then I'm mistaken. But, yeah, I think that's what it does. You want to change your location, I think. I think that's what the primary DNS's purpose is for. But if I'm wrong, then I apologize. But, basically, you want to change the DNS settings. And then, allow putting that code allows it to be exploitable to use the um, web browser without, like, breaking your switch or, like, you know, having any defects on your switch. Or getting your switch wonky or something like that. But yeah, this is a method that 100% works as a firmware 4.1.0. And it's 100% non-breakable, not going to make your switch broken or what, wonky or stuff. It's not going to affect it at all. So anyway, as you see, YouTube is loading right now. It is very slow sometimes because, as again, Nintendo is limited... Nintendo limited their um, Switch owners to only content they want you to access. So, if you're wondering why it's very slow, it's because that's why. So, as you see, it's still loading. But you can see there's the Google Plus page, the Facebook. I believe this is the Twitter. It's just not showing yet. And then this is the Instagram. And then this is the Pinterest. And then this is Nintendo's official site. And then, yeah... You can also search for other videos, and then you can see the videos here, the playlist, and stuff like that. But yeah, this 100% works just like on your phone or your computer or your iPad or tablets. But yeah. Anyway, this that wraps up the tutorial on how to get the internet web browser. Now, just one final thing. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you how to load the web browser if you turn it off. Now, after, like for example, let's say I turn up, go to sleep mode, right? Or if I turn it off or restart it, and then I boot it up again. All you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to news. And then all you're going to want to do is go up here to find channels. Or just press plus. And then as it loads, normally it would give you channels like based on the game. But since you change your DNS settings, it would just load to the web browser instead. Uh, you'll see in a couple of seconds, it's still loading. But yeah. So every you don't need to keep changing and saving the settings every time. So this, this way, just going through the news channel. This is just like the quicker way to do it once you've done it the first time. As you see, it's still loading up.
But yeah, um, if you happen to go to another friend's house and you have the access to their Wi-Fi or you're in somewhere else, someplace else where you have access to Wi-Fi, just make sure you have you change the DNS settings because w when you change the DNS settings, it's only safe for the Wi-Fi network you're connecting to. So don't think it's gonna work. For, don't think you you um change the settings for your switch and it's ready to go to any Wi-Fi. You've only changed the settings for your um the Wi-Fi you're, you're connecting to. So if you're connecting to a new Wi-Fi, you have to redo the process. But yeah, as you see, it's slowly loading up. Sometimes it might be the Wi-Fi, sometimes it's the browser itself, but as you see, it's redirecting me to Google again. And yeah. So yeah, guys, um this is a method that 100% works and it's 100% safe. And um, it works as a firmware 4.1.0 on any switch, region free. And yeah, so this is just a tutorial and method on how to get the web browser for your purposes be as to due to Nintendo limiting your browsing options. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and um, be sure to like and subscribe and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Switch.